Now, in the next uh, question, that is question 141, which is based on potentiometer wire. It says that potentiometer wire of length L and a resistance R are connected in series with a battery of EMF E0 and a resistance R1. So, you can see that the current uh, will be flowing, that is E0 upon R plus R1. That will be the current flowing into the circuit. Now, an unknown EMF E is balanced at a length small L of the potentiometer wire. So, first you should find out that what is the potential drop against this entire length of the potentiometer wire. If you see the resistance which is there of uh, that potentiometer wire that is small r. So, potential drop across this uh, wire is E0 upon r plus r1. This is the total current which is flowing into the circuit multiplied by resistance only of the potentiometer wire. So, this is the total potential drop across that entire length and the entire length is L. But the EMF has been balanced only against a small length. So, so, you will be multiplying it by small l. So, this is the EMF that will be detected when you will be connecting. So, it is saying that a known EMF E is balanced at a length small l. So, that small l has been multiplied here. For that matter, the correct option that will be marked is 3. That is the answer to question number 141. Now, let us switch over to next question that is question 142. Now, this uh, next question that is question 142, this is a straightforward question based on simple harmonic motion. It is a formula based question. They are saying that in this simple harmonic motion, the maximum acceleration is alpha. Now, what is the expression for maximum acceleration? That is omega square a. So, alpha has been given as omega square a and is saying that maximum velocity is beta. What is the expression for maximum velocity? This is omega a. Now, simply divide, you will be getting the value of omega and they are finding, they are asking you to find out what is the time period of this vibration. So, once Omega is there, so you can calculate time period, time period is 2 pi by omega that you can calculate and you will be getting the answer 2 pi beta by alpha. So, the first option will be the correct option for this particular question 142. Now, let us switch over to next question that is question 143. 